After hearing from Royal Media Services, Nation Media Group and the Standard Group last week, it was a turn of the Communication Authority and ICT Secretary Fred Matiangi to appear before the Senate Committee on Legal Affairs and Human Rights. The authority switched off Citizen TV, NTV, KTN and QTV 12 days ago after ignoring pleas by the media houses for time to set up digital broadcasting infrastructure. The stations have also protested the authorities' attempts to force them to hand their content to third parties, among them Pang. And today, the ownership of Pang would take center stage. Who are these local shareholders? What are their stakes in it? Uh, and, uh, and, all, and, and also verify at what point they were incorporated into this company. Reports indicate that records at the Registrar of Societies show that Pang is partly owned by Excel Magic International Limited, which is registered in British Tax Haven Virgin Islands. Investors usually register their farms in tax havens to shield their identity and to avoid paying taxes. This is contrary to earlier claims that Pang, which has been handed close to 60% of digital broadcast frequencies, is wholly Chinese-owned. These are people who have been given this huge sum of investment in this country. We need to look at the impact this is going to have also in the security aspect of this country. It would emerge that the authority does not know who Pang's shareholders are. The particular company that these media houses are talking about, Excel, uh, we have asked the registrar of companies uh, to be able to give us if there are any details, because I think all the details go to the registrar of companies. But we have also written to Pang asking them to bring us the shareholders of that company from where it is registered within, uh, I think through a notary kind of uh, arrangement, to bring it to us uh, within a week to find out who the shareholders are. But I am so, I'm so worried about uh, the question of uh, somebody putting it as a, a local shareholder, because if it was a local shareholder, I am sure they would be very happy to ensure that they are meeting the required 20% requirement that we need them to have in their shareholding. The media houses have protested the order to hand their content to third parties in disregard of intellectual rights and copyright. Are the media, owner, the media houses going to pay uh, the distributor to have Cost their increase. signals carried? Or are they the ones who are going to be paid by the, by the distributor to carry uh, their signals? Pang, like Signet, were licensed to distribute content. They are distributors. So they distribute on behalf of others. And they can only sustain themselves by having a f a being paid a small fee for distribution. The committee is now seeking to lift the lead on the farm's ownership. It's our uh, duty to make a report to the Senate and make a recommendation on the way forward. So uh, uh, the sooner we see that, the better. That information should include the ownership of the 30% mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. uh, of, and I'm glad that the Chief Deputy Secretary did confirm that uh, he will adhere to the constitutional uh, requirement. Senators also took issue with the government's unfair treatment of the three media houses which have been denied time to set up the digital broadcasting infrastructure. I don't think it's a wrong thing to want to make the commercial benefit. What would be so fatal if that one month was extended? So we just face the question and say, these people are Kenyans, they have built brands that are more popular in the country, they want to make money through those brands, and we give them one month to be part and parcel of the beneficiaries of the popular channels that they are built over time. Can't you manage this crisis, as my colleagues have said, to avoid all these uh, push and shove? Try and see how you can manage it with the issues of like either extension, or allowing who to get which equipment, and Kenyans also want to benefit. Don't shut them out. Esther Kahumbe, Citizen TV Online Edition.